Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we are back with another Rhodes Hot Seat campaign in RTR Imperium Sorectum. Yes! We are here with episode 7, and if you didn't catch episode 6, head over to Rather Incoherent's channel, and while you're there, give him a like and sub as well to see how we got up to this point as well. But first of all, I've got our sentence from the man himself from Rain. So here it goes. The gate is shut. There is no eastern frontier to contend with. The Nile Delta is ours. And with that, the sandbox status of Rhodes is restored. More than ever, really. What with all of our new sand. <laughs> now, the world is our oyster. Our lands are safe, in quotation marks. And we have what is probably one of the strongest single stacks on the map. Now we just need to decide where to send it. With any luck, we can add elephants to that army soon. And yes, elephants, you heard it right. <laughs> Because we've got a boy out here in the sea somewhere. Here he is. Admiral Zuthos with Aristophanes. who's going on a little bit of a, um, shall we say, a trade mission to go and buy some elephants off the Carthaginians, maybe? <laughs> I mean, we probably could have gone to An Antioch, but I don't think we'd survive <laughs> with the navies. So Carthage is definitely the option. In terms of everything else, Rain has definitely managed to block off the Eastern Front now. Now we should be pretty much safe to do what we want. And yeah, we've got a pretty darn good army. We've got a few guys retraining over here too. We've also got this guy, only two of him, two of those guys left. So I'm assuming there was a big battle at some point. I'm, I am looking forward to seeing that. But we've got some big stacks around us. We've got another 3,900 gold to spend on this turn and I've been thinking about it a little bit. We are up to minor city level in our three recruitment hub hubs, main recruitment hubs. So I really do want to upgrade all these to at least Rhodian recruitment two, if not three at some point and also get in some stables somewhere too. So in Sebe Sebenitos Busiris, um, yeah, I think we're going to go for some stables because we do need cavalry. Like, our army is just an absolute meat grinder of an army. An absolute mosh master of an army. It is not a very, uh, <laughs> it's not a very, uh, refined army, should we say. You know, there's no cavalry. There's no other missile troops apart from our Rhodian slingers. But yeah, <laughs> it's fine. Fantastic. So I think we're at the end turn. So let's press that end turn and let's see what these juicy... Ptolemaic armies decide to do. So here we are, and the Ptolemies have decided to siege down Letupolis. Not Memphis. I don't know why not Memphis, because it's clearly a better settlement, but okay, that's fine. I would also love to get a recruitment hub in Memphis, because it's going to be a large city soon, and then later down the line, this could be a main recruitment hub over here. This guy's for adoption. I'm not going to accept it, because I believe... A Kemon. A Kemon is this guy. So he'll be adopted over there. So I'm not going to accept that one. We'll accept another one if it's someone else that's up in this region. But not a Kemon, unfortunately. And yeah, a few buildings done. Fantastic. These guys have all retrained now too. So let's get this guy back in there. And now we've got a choice to make. What do we do? Do we go after this army on the bridge? Which would be pretty darn cool uh, or we go after the army sieging down Letupolis and I think you know poor Ptolemies <laughs> they can't win for losing really can they not at all they cannot win for losing so we're going to attack Achaeus over here uh, I am going to quick save this as well because I have tried to record this once and got a CTD so it may be something to do with the bridge but it might have just been a random one and hopefully we don't get it this time so let's go for the bridge battle and let's hopefully just completely destroy these fools of course we've got some valiant reinforcements in our four hoplites there <laughs> fantastic they've got some reinforcements as well but this should be good fun i will see you on the map guys Yes. 
Come on. We must beat our foes and show them why we are the heirs of Alexander and Achilles. Yes, the now Croatian Empire shall rise. <laughs> Well, there is this other river crossing over here that you can just about see. So we are going to defend that lightly. But predominantly, we're going to get our guys here. We're going to use four on the front line. And then we'll use three behind two. And then we're going to get our slingers either side. Because with a bridge, it's so good. Like, if this was a river crossing like this, you can see the distance uh, difference is massive. Whereas with a bridge... We are so close to them. It's pretty much within javelin range. It's insane. <laughs> it's so good. Their reinforcements should come in from behind them and not from our side. I mean, hopefully, that would be a bit of a disaster if it was our side. But we're going to set up pretty nicely. We're going to go into V formation. Very nice V formation. We love the V. Right in there, boys. And let's get this one in here, too. And we're going to also use these guys to screen the flanks because a lot of units in this game can, of course, um, what do you call it? Swim. That's it. Swim. <laughs> a lot of units in this game can swim. So we are going to bring our guys up there too, ready to deal with them if they want to. And hopefully we can bait them across the river. Here's our four reinforcements. <laughs> Not sure you're going to be able to do much there, guys. I have told them to retreat, so I don't know where they're going to retreat. Like, just retreat the way you came. But, yeah, I, I don't know. And there's not really anywhere to hide them on this map either, is there? Not many trees. Here they come, boys. Here they come. And you can see one's running across the river as well. We're going to put these guys back on fire at will. And just get firing in here. Just anyone. Matroy 4 Cavalry is a great option. Let's go for that. We've got our general behind ready to uh, hold. We're also going to stick all these guys on guard mode. Do not chase the enemy. And here they come. Fantastic. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Right, let's uh, fire at this, uh, the Phalangites because they're going to be actually quite difficult to deal with, I've got to say. You can see the guys, you know, coming across trying to swim. So what I'm going to do is bring this unit right down to the shore. And this cavalry should get absolutely shredded. No questions asked. Hopefully they're low enough but they can still fire above them. That we are getting javies thrown at us, unfortunately. But if I go further back, we just run the risk of shooting into the backs of our men. So I don't want to do that. These guys... Oh, there they go. They've run away now. They've run away. They don't want to take it. But here we go. Good. Hold the lines, men. Hold the lines. The main thing is the phalangites. So let's make sure we are firing into this monstrous blob. That is a blob and a half. <laughs> Yes, look at that blob. Kill them all, man. Kill them all. How many have we killed so far? Only about 100. 200-ish. That's fine. I mean, they mainly charge with their cavalry. Uh, they also have this army. So when we want to, we can come and completely surround these boys. So as soon as these guys get into this blobbing sort of formation, we will come around and just destroy them. Keep firing in that blob. Keep firing, men. That's all that matters. Right, you guys go down and deal with the Greek Peltasts. They should want to rout very soon. Um, I will also probably pull... Do I need to pull anyone off? Probably not. Oh, my God. Mosca's going to timestamp that, isn't he? <laughs> oh, dear. Why do I always run into things like this? <laughs> um, right, we'll fire at them again. Keep fighting, guys. Kill them. They should be shaken. These guys just keep firing. Keep firing in that massive blob. Go. They can't really... They shouldn't be able to push through. They're Matroid 4 cavalry. They should really not be able to push through. Are they going to withdraw? No, they're actually going for this side. Good choice because that blocks us off from coming across. Oh, don't go in, man. Don't go in. No, no, no. You guys also. What are you doing, man? Get out. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> don't be so silly. Get out. What? Listen to me. Fucking listen. What are they doing? Listen to me. <laughs> okay, just, just fight then. Just fight. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> if you want to die, we've got plenty more men where that came from. Oh my god. They've done it. They've done it. The boys. Let's go. Let's go. 
Now, this, them riot, rioting here as well. Riot? Ri why do I always say riot, rioting? Routing here causes chaos for everyone trying to get on the bridge. Just allows us to fire even more. We did lose, like I say, a few men in these armies. But we need to get to the point where we can actually recruit, you know, the, um, the slingers in our Egyptian lands. But for now, that's not possible. God, these armies are annoying when they do this. Just run past. Right, fire at those Zistaphore over there. You guys, fire at that Machiroi Foroi. And we are coming across. They are very slow going through the water, as you can see. The sluggy slugs. But we are going to get right behind them and completely, hopefully, wipe out this army. Let's go, boys. This is going to be amazing if we pull it off. And hopefully these guys hold. I mean, they should do. They're getting slightly... Why are you still in the fight, man? Why are you still in the fight? Yeah, this guy is an imbecile. You are, you are dying so much for no reason. Well, let's rally the men anyway. These guys just keep doing this and they're not even, you know, across. <laughs> keep firing in there, boys. Keep firing in there. Nice. Fantastic. Hopefully we use all our ammo by the end of this, fast, this fight. What imbeciles? Why did you do this? I told you to escape and you did, did not. You refused to, my friends. You refused to. Well, I'm going to get one of my generals around with this as well. Uh, just to, to mop up any running men so that we can hopefully, um, you know, deal with them all pretty easily. Now, this unit, this unit's not even taking any fights. Uh, so what I'm thinking is doing that and he, hopefully they will engage. This unit's hardly being engaged. It's mainly just this unit who's going to die. So if we could pull back, that would be nice. But, yeah, no, they, they run in the middle whenever they pull back, which is just <laughs> insane, really, when you think about it, isn't it? <laughs> right, guys, let's go. This is it. We just need these uh, phalangites to get on the bridge. And then we're peachy. What are you doing, man? What are you doing? Get in the fight. Get in the fight. I have no idea what this unit's doing now. I told them to go here, and they decided to run that way. Uh, it looks like they were chasing that unit. Okay, that's fine. We'll get off guard mode then. We'll get these guys. These guys can stay on guard mode. The guys on the flanks can sort of push in. That's great. That's also allowed us a bit of a nicer view of firing on there. Keep going. Keep going. Some of them have used all their ammo. Good. Glorious. Now, the question here is, do we engage with this unit here? Because they are still trying to get onto the bridge. Everyone that can, you guys go get away from there now. You can't fire anymore. You guys kill the Matroy Foroy uh, Pikeman. And hopefully we can kill this Greek Archer. We're going to bring our cavalry around. Bit unfortunate that the Phalangites have kind of got out of there. But I'm sure we can break them somehow. Shoot them. Come on. There we go. Let's fight that Matroy Foroy. They have run away already. So we need to just block off this exit. Oh, this is glorious. This is so glorious. I love to see this. <laughs> Come on, the boys. Oh, we're just squeezing them now. Just squeezing away. Squeezing away, my friends. The phalangites, what are they doing? Are they doing anything? No, nope, they're broken already. Oh, dear. Right, guys, get in there. Just get in there. Don't care about anything else. Our general's still here. So let's come across. Oh, it looks like the mass route is starting, my friends. <laughs> looks like the mass route is going to start. Very nice indeed. Don't get there. Shoot there. And we'll get the uh, Rodian Slingers back too. You can't do anything, can you? These guys still have loads of ammo. Oh, my God. This is going to be absolute carnage. Come on, men. Go, go, go. Go, go, go. And we'll get the general to chase down anyone else that's running away. Go, men. On the bridge. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> That's it, boys. That's it. Right in there. Oh, my God. Absolute chaos and carnage. <laughs> this is going to be so brutal. Oh, glorious. Here we go, guys. Look at our men pushing through. This is just savage. People are falling off the bridge all over the place. Look at that. Probably quite a lot of our men as well because the phalangites are now uh, in there. So what I'm going to do is turn them all off guard mode here and get them to all jump on this. If we can kill that general, then I think we're going to be good. Everyone will start routing here. 
Look at that. He's routing now. Good. He should hopefully die in this melee. You guys come over here and just en enjoy yourselves, my friends. <laughs> enjoy yourselves. Surely he's going to die. Come on. Kill him. Kill him. There we go. That should make them all want to rout, surely. Surely. Where's the other general, though? That's the question. Oh, he's in there. A chaos? Guys, come on. Get in there. Get in there. I don't know where you're going. Very weird. <laughs> the poor guys. Surely they're going to start wavering very soon. Keep firing on this unit. This one here. The Phalangites are proving to be quite brutal, actually, on the bridge. Who would have guessed? Who would have guessed? <laughs> this is a mess. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, chaos. I love a bit of chaos. Look, the horse is now in the water. People getting absolutely boshed. Now, that should be it. That should be it. Surely. Surely these phalangites are going to break. How are you still going, man? There we go. And, of course, we're not going to do anything other than continue this, are we? Like, <laughs> good luck. Watch them just crumble. This is crazy. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. These poor phalangites. <laughs> F's in the chat for the phalangites, my friends. F's in the chat. Look at them try and go. Oh, our guys are just walking this way now. You've got to kill them. Kill them all. <laughs> oh. Normally, I edit this out. But when it's something so glorious as this, I can't. You know I can't, my friends. You know I can't edit that out. This has to be witnessed by you all. <laughs> Well done, Ptolemies. I mean, we did take some serious damage with a couple of the units. But retraining these hoplites is not an issue, is it? And our general's all the way over there. Look at the dead. Just strewn across the field. All the way down the river. Oh, my days. Oh, my days. The river of blood. The river of blood, my friends. Oh, my God. Just brutal death and destruction everywhere. That is crazy. Oh, they're all, they're all dead. Come on, kill them. I want to kind of see the devastation on the bridge. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Surely there's mounds of dead. Oh, my God. Oh, well, I mean... Considering how brutal that ending was, it, it, it wasn't, you know, the most <laughs> kills versus losses. I mean, they still killed about 500 of our troops. But yeah. <laughs> nice. Slinger's doing really well. But the Hoplites too. What a fantastic battle. I will see you back on the campaign map, my friends. Here we go. And apparently that unit of four died at some point. But luckily, no! No! No, I thought he was just going to path through the middle. Oh, God damn. Well, we'll stick that 30 in there for now. And now we need to come back and defend this battle over here. So let's get it going. And yeah, I mean, it is a bit annoying. We can't retrain or train Rodian Slingers. So we do really need to get that going ASAP. But it's... I think it's like nine turns for level three. Let's have a look. Ten turns for level three. Oh, that is that is painful. That is really painful. I thought we had got a level two somewhere already, but apparently not. Uh, but we got 16,000 gold to spend. So let's have a look through. What do we want to build? Predominantly, I'm looking at our recruitment hubs mainly and trying to get them upgraded. So, in size, we can go for level 2. I mean, it's better than nothing, right? Getting to level 2, definitely. We've got that building there. Now, Kratos is building level 2, too. Your building. Let's have a look across here. Heroon Polis is one of the ones we've taken recently. So is Arsinoh Clisma. Oh, we've still got that in there as well. Let's get rid of that. And where is the port for Arsinoh Clisma? It's there. Yeah, we're not going to trade with anyone. <laughs> Apart from ourselves. Of course, this army very likely will get destroyed, which is a bit unfortunate because I would love to have a very small unit to put in there. We do have generals in both of these regions. Rain specifically mentioned that. So that if we need to build more forts, we can do. 
at some point. I'd prefer to just go through this list, in fact. So let's have a look. Lindos. Anything we want for Lindos. Probably population growth because it's on minus one and a half and only on normal at the minute. So let's get that in there. We're building in quite a few places, actually, which is great. Cato Diaspolis can upgrade, so we definitely want to get that in there. And then Mendez over here. Let's go for those sewers, too. And there's not really anything else that's worthwhile building, apart from maybe a port in Alexandria, but we might build that next turn. Now, I do want to make Alexandria our capital, so I know that might make some of these guys have a little bit more corruption or a little bit more unhappiness, but honestly, it's not far from now Kratos to Alexandria, so it shouldn't matter. Oh, and finally our boat. <laughs> Let's remember the elephant man. The elephant man? <laughs> The Elephant Man. Yes, that is him. Elephant Man is going for elephants. But anyway, let's end the turn there, guys. Do we want to bring any of these boys back up? I don't think we can retrain that guy with this amount of money. No, we can't. I mean, honestly, I think we're fine. I think we don't need to worry about it too much. Shouldn't be too hard, but no harm in getting extra troops, right? Although they're not going to get there and waste movement points. So... Yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. And then what we're going to do is, of course, go down south. So let's press the end turn and let's see what happens. Oh, no. Anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> anyway. Oh, no. What has happened? Three factions in one go. Messene, Kaidonia, and Argos. Well, Messene and... Let's have a look. Let's have a look at who's taken this because that's just interesting. That three factions have died in one go. The Aetolians go in ham. Go on, the boys. I love to see that. Uh, Messene as well. That's Ellis. Nice. The Spartans are just failing, as usual. Oh, my God. Look at Crete. Nearly unified under Gortin over here. And was it Miletus? I'm assuming... Or was it Priene? Oh, it was Priene. The Ptolemies taking out Priene. Oh, well. Oh, well. Are the Ptolemies still just, like, friends with everyone? Because last time... When I looked, they were not at war with the Seleucids. Please tell me that they're at war with... How are they not at war with the Seleucids? That is insane. That is stupid. We've also got our diplomat around here somewhere. So we can actually get talking to some people. Get trade rights and all that Most sort of thing. Um, and try and scam some money out of them. As usual. <laughs> so, Zeos and Prosopis are a little bit upset. So... For now, we're just going to have to get... Oh, my God. These guys are mega upset. Still only 69%. Well, looks like we're going to have to get a full large garrison in there just to stop them rioting. Because we don't really have many garrison troops, really, when you look at it. Now, while we're here, let's make sure we retrain that. We've also got another town growing, which is Leontonpolis. And they are not so happy right now either. No one is really very happy with us over here. That's one of the scary things. So we do need to get these places upgraded because that's really causing a little bit of unrest in these regions, being at the wrong level that they should be. Extra squalor as well. Now, Memphis. Now, I'm going to queue this in now because, of course, we know we're going to take the settlement. This unit can go into that fort. And now we can get you guys back to retrain at this one, the closest one. And let's go after that army. And then hopefully, I mean, do we need to retrain this army? I feel like we can kind of destroy a few of them first, maybe take them out. Where's this guy? He's over at Tyre, just having a look around, I guess. So I think we'll keep on the eastern front with this guy, maybe around this way, just to watch... Any big stacks coming in. And then we've got Aristolos. So let's come up here just to have a look. Is there any, uh, you know, big stacks around? Doesn't look like it. So I think we can maybe do a bit of blitzing over this way when we defeat this army. So let's do that. Let's get rid of this army first. Bit of damage. Bit of damage in this army. And again, the Phalangites are going to be difficult to deal with. But apart from that, we should be good. We'll use our uh, archers, of course. Archers? Slingers, of course. Like we did last time uh, in my video a couple of videos ago. And just melt them. And then hopefully they will charge us. So, let's see.
Is it one of these maps again? <laughs> what in the hell? <laughs> what is this map? I feel like these guys could probably fire down on anyone from up here. I feel like if they're over here, we will be able to fire on them. So let's see. Let's let's test it out. If it doesn't work, that's fine. We can bring them forward, but that's no problem whatsoever. Let's get you all grouped up as well. And now we've got a bit of a replenishment with our general too. So let's see what happens. Well, I understand that AI going right into the back corner there because... If I was them, I would also not come down into this hollow here. These battle maps are just insane. <laughs> but now we can finally fire. I'm hoping we can draw them into fight because our guys are a little bit tired from running across half the map. And it looks like they're going to go for the charge. So let's get out behind them quickly so that they don't charge us. Of course, our slingers. We do not want our slingers getting charged. We'll also pop them up on this little rise here. And I'll bring my general this way. Is he going to go for the charge? Because that's kind of crazy if he does that. Uh, it looks like he is. Well done, Lysa Marcos. No, 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 he's not. Good. Well, halt. Halt, men, halt. Fire, 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 fire. Quickly, right in the back. I know you take a little while to swing your ding -a around. But you should get a couple of volleys off at least. Or at least one volley. There we go. Armor piercing as well. Nice. Good. Right then, let's go back and let's try to deal with the old phalangites if we can. And we're going to bring our soldiers up even closer on this insane battle map. <laughs> Here they come. Here they come. Get out the back, guys. Get out the back. Again, we don't want to take any unnecessary losses of the slingers. Get up on there on the little hill and I think we'll be able to shoot pretty nicely. Again, they've just charged their Prodromoy in the fight. Here comes the general, though. Lysa Marcos. Probably getting quite a good charge off there, but it doesn't seem like it, actually. Um, I would love to be in range of those phalangites. Okay, general dead already. Well, that's quite good for us. <laughs> Fantastic. Here comes some more Greek Peltas. Let's get around up this way, and let's just use the general to deal with whatever that Akontistai is doing. Not going to lie. Kind of done by the Akontistai. I'm kind of thinking now to get our slingers around this way. You guys get in the fight there. You guys get around. Get in the fight. You guys just get up here. You guys halt for a second. I don't want you charging into a charge. Never works. So let's just take the charge on the chin. Here they come. This unit's going to take a bit of a battering. But they did get an awful charge off. That was not a good charge. Let's try and go for that Thurio Foroi before they start attacking us. There goes the general. Absolutely shredding the boys. Let's get rid of the Machiro Foroi. And let's get the general out this way. And we're going to use the general to protect our slingers. Because our slingers are coming across over here. Hopefully to fire into the enemy pretty well. Now we will use the general of course just to protect uh, all those slinger boys. Because I want the slingers to fire into the phalangites. Don't think we need to worry too much about these boys. So let's come forward. Let's see what we can do here. So I'm slightly worried about that charge. Here we go. Here we go then. It is a Prodromoy, so... Hmm. They're going for the charge. They're going for the charge. Turn, 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 men. Oh, god damn it. Risky strats again. Risky strats. Stupid strats get stupid rewards, I guess, guys. Uh, but... <laughs> anyway... We'll, uh, we'll try and get surround these boys. Try and surround them. What are you doing? You're pretty much doing nothing. You guys are here. Okay, we got rid of the uh, the cavalry. Let's get rid of this secondary cavalry. Oh, here comes all the cavalry. They all just want to charge, apparently. They just want to charge the slingers. I mean, it's a good tactic. I'm not going to lie. Let's get rid of them then. Actually, get rid of them first. They're just prodromoid. Oh, dearie me. Dearie me. Right, let's go, 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 go. Go, listen to me, for God's sake. There we go. Okay, that stopped their charge anyway. That's at least a good situation. These guys need to fire at them. Actually, fire at the Machiro Foroi cavalry. You guys fire at them. Come on, kill the Machiro Foroi. Oh, I can't keep losing so many slingers like this. 
But I just needed them to get around to fight to beat the uh, the Phalangites. But it just looks like it hasn't worked. But anyway, should be fine still. We're absolutely destroying the Matro 4 right over there. What the hell is going on here? Slingers, get back. Just get back. Come on, Cav. You should beat Matroid 4 right Cavalry. God damn it, man. And these units of Slingers, let's get you back slightly too. I don't know what their Phalangites are doing, but we're just going to skirmish them if they want. Fire at them. Fire at them. It looks like they're going after the Cavalry. That's the main thing that they want to do. So that's fine. Get back, men. Get back. Get back, you bastard. I'll break your legs. Come on. Now we fire at them. Come on. How have we not beaten that Matroid 4 yet? God damn it, man. Surely we should be beating them. Right. You guys get in there. You guys get there. This guy's getting a bit sandwiched. But that's fine. A bit more of a bloody battle than I would have liked, to be honest. Oh, God. Get out. Get out. The Phalangites are in there now. The Phalangites are in there. God damn it. Right. Fire at them. Fire at them. They're getting absolutely shredded by the Slingers, by the way. Ah. Oh! How have I fucked the Slingers so much? Piss me off. God damn it. I mean, it's my fault, so I shouldn't be pissed off by it, but... <laughs> right, kill these Matroid Foroys. Kill them all. Kill them all. You guys, just get away. Just get away. Get away. We need someone to fight them. And we are going to... You guys, get in there. You guys, get around this way. Slingers, start firing at that. Should be able to destroy them pretty easily. Get out, you... Dickheads. Honestly, man. Right, let's let's charge them as well. Now, our general's lost a lot of men. This is a very bloodied army. This is why we need to be able to retrain these slingers. But we need level 3 recruitment for them. Fuck me, man. God, how are you so struggling so much? You are fighting slingers and peltasts. God damn. <laughs> very hard is brutal, man. Brutal. Right, you guys come back up. What is this? Matroy, Foroy. Right, get up there, General. These guys, I don't care about that unit. Just run away from them, for God's sake. Right. Saltiness is out again. Saltiness is out. Good. We love it. We love a bit of saltiness, don't we, boys? Well, I'm hoping we can get this unit here. That would be very good for point-blank range into those boys. These guys can come up there, maybe. Probably about there. And they can fire into this unit. And we'll also charge them for now. And now it's just the Phalangites. Now it is just the old Phalangites. Can we beat them? And we should be able to beat them. We've just taken an absolute battering to do so. Absolute battering. But hopefully when this army's done, you know, there's nothing left for them to do. So, yeah, there's no more armies out there. So we should be fine. All our guys are absolutely knackered now too. Come on, boys. Come on, boys. Around there, get around, get around, and now fire. Now fire. Don't know how they are disengaging from this fight. They love to do that, though. I don't know why. It's just very annoying. <laughs> just fire point blank. Like, fire, come on. Just fire into them, for God's sake. You fools. Come on. Point blank range. There we go. That's better. That's what we like to see. You guys now should fire at these guys, Greek slingers. Get rid of them. Looks like we will have lost a few units, but it's fine. Firing point blank range. And then let's just pop back here. Get away from these fools. Are they firing up there? It looks like they are. Get away from them. Get away. <laughs> right, well, I'll clean this up, guys. And we will finish the battle. God damn. There we go. We got rid of that phalangite at least. And I am going to send a general to chase after them. We may even be slower than them now. But let's kill this Greek Peltas too. So we're going to get our general over here. Kill them. Come on, guys. I know they, they're apparently better than a, Thurio, uh, than a Hoplite in melee. But yeah, these units are uh, proving pretty troublesome. I'm not going to lie. Luckily, they're just facing the wrong way. The problem is all our guys just like... They're just facing the wrong way. Just just come and fight them, for God's sake. Get into the fight there. Go on. Go on. You can do it, guys. You can do it. And, yeah, the Thurio 4 is just shredding us. So, let's get all our men around this way. And where do we want to fire? I mean, it's probably good to fire on these guys. So, let's go and fire on them. 
And then we shall hopefully have the victory. Run them down the hill, men. Run them away. But I think we've got enough. I think we've killed enough. So we are going to end the battle there, guys. Glorious victory. I don't even think our general could have caught them up there. They're so tired. So let's win the victory. Look at that. Oh, that is what one of those battle maps does to you in terms of losses. You just get absolutely brutalized by the hillside. That was very tough. But anyway, a lot, a lot tougher than the bridge battle, let's say. <laughs> we should hopefully be able to retrain a lot of the guys. But the slingers, that's the tough one. We shall see what we can do about that. Well, it was a victory, not the greatest of victories, and we are definitely going to go back to now Kratis. Make sure we can retrain as many of these boys as we can afford right now. I don't think an extra turn is going to make a difference to us in any way, taking the time to retrain. In fact, we will also get Rodian recruitment too, so... Yeah, I don't think the practice range is going to do it. I think we need level 3 practice range. Although, let's check roads. Let's just have a look at the roads. Yeah, roads is only a level 2 missile range. And they get Rodian Slingers. But we still do need level 3 Rodian recruitment to get them. So, yeah, even if we do get a practice range in there, a missile range in anywhere, then it's still going to be an issue. So we'll try and build it up probably in Saiz or uh, Sabenitos Busuris. But it's not going to be a, it's not going to be very soon when we can train the Rodian boys, unfortunately. But anyway, let's end that turn and let's see what happens. God damn, I forgot about Elephant Man. So more civil disorder, our Sinoclisma this time, although it's on seventy percent. So that's slightly unfortunate. This guy just needs to get some more influence, really. What's in there? Just five progeny. Well, that's not going to be helpful. Um, honestly, I'll maintain with the Adrisian Kingdom. It, it matters not. <laughs> That's quite a long way from where we're concerned right now. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Apparently, Nabatea, we don't have an alliance with anymore either. That's weird. I don't know why, but that's fine. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hopefully, we don't have to deal with those guys at some point. But yeah. We just made an absolute ton of money because our army was so devastated in that battle. God damn, that was an awful battle. Terrible. Apparently all my bad gameplay is in this game. What what's happened here? Oh no. What? So apparently Rodian Hoplites can only be retrained at level one. At level two, they're not a, they they can't get retrained. That's so strange. That's so very, very strange. Hmm. Well, we definitely need the missile range and Rodian recruitment three to get the slingers. So let's go for the Rodian recruitment three. It takes 10 turns. Let's also take this army and let's go to somewhere that can actually retrain these boys. So that means we need to keep at least one place level one for the time being until we get level three. Hmm, I'm even tempted to, to get rid of that. But then again, we do need to get to level uh, level three ASAP in these places. So we've also got this unit. Let's bring them across. They can't actually fit in the settlement now. You happy? No. So for now, we'll keep you in Zeos. Got this unit in here. Got those units there. Can we leave with any of these boys? I doubt it. No, 49% is really not very good, is it? I could merge a few of the slingers together, but I prefer not to with all their experience. So, yeah, it's just a little bit unfortunate at the minute. Uh, we are just slightly lagging behind in terms of our recruitment. So, what I'm thinking is, let's get two units of Rodian Slingers in there and when they are done we will risk the journey. It's going to be a risky journey but we've got to risk it. Let's also have a look at Elephant Man. Does he have any uh, mercenaries available? Apparently not. Apparently no mercenaries over here for elephants. Great! <laughs> Why not? 
Why can you not get mercenaries? No mercenaries, man. Zero. Like, literally zero. I'm guessing Carthage is just, like, getting them. So let's keep coming around here. We'll also move up towards, like, Carthage and just see whether there's mercenaries in those regions. But, yeah, not great. <laughs> not fantastic. Um, but anyway, for now, let's have a look at what we can do. Nothing else. This unit's going in there for retraining too. We'll have to retrain it next turn. Actually, we'll swap them over. I doubt they can get retrained with 36 gold, but fine. Um, <laughs> but anyway, guys, let's end the turn there and I'll see what happens after the turn. So we had many places rioting over that end turn. A little bit unfortunate and a little bit annoying, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> so... <laughs> Let's uh, make sure we garrison some of these places. Unfortunately, with, you know, units that shouldn't really be garrisons. But we will take this army now. And hopefully, we can get a few cities done all in one go. This is 38%. That is awful. Well, we're going to have to definitely try and use this guy. 53 still, only with that. Will you be happy if we leave... 67. It's worth risking. Where has this unrest come from? Culture penalty and squalor. Yeah, squalor's a big one. So, yeah. Let's see what we can do here. Can we leave one guy in Prosopis now? 69. Oh, come on. We need more generals up in this region, really, is the main thing. You're at 100 now, so I don't know what your problem is. Probably because they've actually just built... The next level, maybe? No, they're actually loads higher than that. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Yeah, I don't really know why they're so upset. Let's also make sure we're not rioting in Memphis. We're going to come down. We're going to go for some good tactics around here. Try and blitz a few of these settlements all in one. But let's see whether we can do that. Um, yeah, 68%. Not good. Not good. What about if we swapped over garrisons here? Is this happy? 71. That's fine. You guys get in there. Can we leave anyone? No. It's literally it's literally that or nothing. It's like... <laughs> that's an insane amount of garrison. Right. Well, let's uh, start training some more troops. Because we need more troops. Let's start getting some Egyptian skirmishers too. Because we can't apparently get <laughs> hoplites in Naukratis anymore. Uh, let's get a Prodromoy. Yeah, let's get a Prodromoy. I don't think that second army's going to be able to be done this turn, unfortunately. You guys get back in there. We're just having to garrison all the places so much because of the cultural unrest. So, yeah, it's, it's a little bit tough to deal with. But anyway, uh, well, we've got some money left. Let's go to all the angry places like Letupolis. And let's build some happiness in here. Yeah, Shrine to Zeus, definitely. Uh, these places, they're all building the really unhappy places. But these other places, let's make sure we repair that. Let's build some farming. You know, we, we've not really done much economy building at all in this campaign. Alexandria, we definitely want a port. And Booba over here, let's go for the trader. Minor city of Tanis up this way. Let's go for the shrine to Zeus for now. Just for that extra happiness. And everywhere else we've got enough for a trader. Because we are training in the places that we want to. So let's end the turn again. And let's see what happens. So Rhodes has now upgraded guys. So that is fantastic. But at the minute it's just not really worth building anything else in Rhodes. Uh, apart from just getting Rhodian Slingers as well. Anything else? Okay, a couple of places now have the next level. So, Prosopis. So, finally, Prosopis is happy. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Now we can finally get these guys out of there. Let's go over to there, do we? I mean, we could do with some more... Hmm. Yeah, we could do with some more... Infantry, I mean, more slingers, really, and more cavalry. But, <laughs> I mean, we might as well get another infantry. But let's first come down here to start with. So, doesn't look like they have any armies in the vicinity, which is great for us. 
Here comes another stack. Pretty damaged stack at that. So they must have been fighting someone. Our Thribis is now unhappy. Very unhappy. And that's mainly because we need to upgrade it. Wow. I wish I'd got a not notification about that. Thank you, game. But let's first of all get this guy in our Thribis then. 70%. Okay, that's fine. These boys, we can bring one of them down over here. So I'm going to go for that one. In fact, you can't, in can't even siege that down. So where are the big garrisons? That's just simply a general. So I think we can afford three men to go there. Can they build a ram? No, not quite. Let's also go for one of these boys. One turn for a ram. Good. So at least we know that now. This one is a little bit more. It's got three people in. Probably some phalangites as well. So let's take the general. Let's take one, two, three. And then maybe two of you. Actually, one of you. Because we need to get all four if we can. Fantastic. Then this is a stone wall. So we shouldn't need as many men. But I want to take more of the missile men for this one. Because it's a stone wall. So we'll do that. And then finally, we will go for Heraclea Polis. And we can get that as well. So hopefully we can do all that in one turn. Next turn, which would be glorious. We are training in there. We're training here too. And we are training in there as well. Memphis is building its training building, which is glorious. So we can retrain there a little bit better. So let's see what we want to do with the rest of our money. Rhodes is still recruiting. Fantastic. Can we recruit here? Hmm. No, there's no recruitment building here. I would love to be able to recruit both Rodian Slingers in two places. Hmm. How much would this bring us here at Lindos? Another 223. It's not bad. It's not bad. But I think we can use our money a little bit more wisely. So if we have a look at Zeos, let's have a look. Let's look at our recruitment hubs first. So they are all building at the minute. That's fine. So Zeos over here. Let's try and get maybe a sewer in there. That'd be good. And then Mendez too. Let's try and look at getting some more sort of public order buildings in a lot of these places. Because as we've seen, they're pretty darn unhappy. Now we do have quite a bit left of our money. So what do we want to build? I mean, an execution square would not be a bad option here. So let's go for that there. And then Lindos, anything we can build... Just a bit more law with the Shrine to Zeus. And then the only place we're not building is Herun Polis. And we're also recruiting as well. Fantastic. That is glorious, my friends. So, let us end the turn. And let's see what happens. Like I say, we need... You know, there's a lot of guys in here in garrisons that they shouldn't be in. They're just there to really prop up the public order. So, we will be able to get, you know... A bit of a better, a bit of a better army very soon. And also some better garrisons, hopefully, in there too. So, I'll see you after the end turn, guys. So, let's siege down these four settlements. I'll show you one of the battles, guys. The rest of them, I mean, this one, for example. Uh, actually, we didn't lose any slingers. That's the only thing that I, I didn't really want to do, is lose slingers. This one, we probably will have to fight. Yeah, we'll, we'll have to fight that one. How about this one? I, I mean, generals in auto-resolve are insane. But yes, okay, good. So we only have to fight two battles now then. That's good. Another town has grown Letupolis. And it has to be the one that is insanely upset with us. <laughs> Great. Ah. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, dearie me. Well, I think we can spare this guy from this fort now. I don't think we need him. 67%, that's fine. We could probably even swap these guys around. Is Memphis happy if we go down to low? It is. Fantastic. But let's see if we can just swap this guy in there and they're happy. Okay, good. Fantastic. Can we go up to normal? No, not at all. Not at all. How about in Memphis? Not at all either. Okay, we'll get in there for now. And now we've got these two battles to do. What else has happened? Not much. Not really much. But we do have a new Egyptian slinger. So we will send them down to garrison. And we will do 
these battles. Which one's this? Matroi Foray. So I think we won't show our Sinnoh Crocodilion Polis. Yes. But we will show the Aphrodite Polis one. Obviously heavily edited, guys. You don't want to see me mess around too much. Although, we could just combine the troops now and just auto-resolve these. <laughs> well, we could at least combine some of the troops into there. And auto-resolve this one. That should be a bit easier. There we go. 78. That's not bad. So, that's enslave. Although, oh, god damn. No! Oh, I should have played it because the slingers have been absolutely blasted there. But oh well. I mean, these guys took no damage, but the slingers took all the damage. That makes no sense. Come on, man. Okay, well, we do need to garrison these places. So, you guys go around to there. You guys get in there. And then we've got this final battle to do, too. We've also got this one. Let's destroy all of these recruitment buildings. Like we've done, for, done before. Destroy all of those. And that should net us quite a nice bit of cash for now. And let's make sure... That we do repair all of these. They're all minor cities, these places. So that is very good for us. In anywhere a really good recruitment hub. You're specifically really bad recruitment hub. You're okay. And you guys, you're actually a decent one. So... Yeah, I mean, we're getting one in Memphis. Do we want another? I mean, yes, okay. And let's also build in, like, the shrine to... Zeus in a couple of these places too. Let's go for the shrine to Zeus. And then we got 9,000, which I think I will leave rain to spend. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's not good at all. That is really not good. Let's also train in some more troops. Um, thinking more Prodromoy, just so we have more cavalry. Whether Rain wants more Prodromoy or not, I don't know, but <laughs> they can be quite useful. I have found in my guide videos that they can be quite useful, of course. So yeah, they're not they're not awful. They're not terrible. They're, they're not horrendous, but they're they're alright. <laughs> Let's also have a look at our guy across here. Have you got the ability to get elephants, my friend? Absolutely not. Anywhere with elephants, please. Please, I mean, specifically, this this area does have elephants. No mercenaries. <laughs> oh, God damn it. But anyway, let's do Aphrodite Polis. So let's get into this battle, guys, as the final uh, closing part of this episode. So we basically just had to push our way through. I also fucked up by getting these guys to attack, and then they just, like, basically ran into the javelins of the Thurio Foroi. So I'm hoping I can squeeze these guys in behind. There we go. Fantastic. Now we can surround them. That should be a little bit better. And hopefully this general doesn't charge us because that could be quite brutal. Right. We're in place now. Hopefully we can bait them off to town square. We need to kill someone first before they'll even consider it. But it looks like we're not really getting the shots off. So we'll try and come back slightly and maybe get a better angle. If they, yeah, yeah, if you move, please, guys. There we go. That's better. That should be a better angle. So, uh, not really. Not really the best angle. I don't think there's any good angle. Let's have a look. Any good angle? Like, right here. But whether they'll go here is a different question. Okay, that's better. They're not firing. Really not firing at all. Okay. Well, we'll try and bait them off some other way then. There we go. That's good. Well, let's go for the charge on the back of this general's bodyguard. And hopefully we can break him. Pretty easily, in fact. Now we just somehow need to get these Greek hoplites off the town square. Hmm. That's going to be tough. I'm not going to lie. Because they do not look like they want to move right now. <laughs> uh, maybe... Guys, can you go, please? <laughs> well, maybe we can, like, just get here and charge them. I'm just worried about just losing more of the Slingers for no reason. Uh, which we've done a lot of in this episode. Which has been kind of brutal and, and not very good from my part, to be honest. But, yeah. Let's just try and get forward and see what we can do. 
should be able to fire on them now. Even if you're, like, there. Like, fire on them now. Then we should be able to retreat. Guys, fire. Fire. There we go. I know you love to swing it around. That's better. Not done any damage because of the shields. As soon as they start moving, we'll run again. Guys, guys, just fire, for God's sake. Stop fucking around. <laughs> Honestly, I'm done with your shit, man. I'm done with it. Just, just fire. Come on. Okay, well, we'll see what happens, guys. Here they come. Here they come. Can we escape in time? That's the question. Very likely not. Guys, what, what, why would, why would you go there? I did not click there. They just ran back this way. You idiots. Oh, my fucking God. Get going. Get fucking going, man. Jesus Christ. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. Yes. The salt will come out. <laughs> right, guys. Now you guys, you've got you've to gotta tell me that you can push them off. There we go. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Push them off. Push them off. Get the guard mode off. Yes. This is it, boys. This is it. Rally the men and let's go. I will see you once we've ground these guys down into a pulp. There we go. A pretty exhausting battle, but yeah. <laughs> Fine. The slingers did fuck all, honestly. Oh, God. I misused them. But anyway, great victory. We've taken another city. So four cities in one turn. Can't sniff our nose up at that, can we? Can't stick our nose up at that, should I say. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. But anyway, guys, let's get back onto the campaign map and let's see how we're doing. So let's enslave again. Another minor city that's been enslaved. And a transgression against Carthage. I know, I know, but I don't care. <laughs> I want those elephants. <laughs> I want those bloody elephants, my friends. We didn't damage anything in this siege, actually, which is fantastic. And yeah, the army is less damaged over here. Well, I think we're going to leave that here, guys. So if you did enjoy, a like would be massively, massively appreciated. I've seen a massive drop off in the likes on videos recently. So if you could like, that would be fantastic. It really helps get these videos out to more people. Uh, and yeah, I think we're going to leave it there for Rain. He can choose what he wants to do with the rest of the money. Um, we are recruiting, like I say. We're also building in a lot of places. So, yeah, it's up to him what he wants to do, whether he wants to build anything in here. Do I queue anything? Probably not. Don't need to, do we? Um, but, yeah, that should be good. I mean, there's a lot of armies massing on this side. But, really, they don't look that scary, I'm not going to lie. But, obviously, we have a massive lack of slingers right now. So, what I might actually do is just queue in another slinger just so... We can queue that in and make sure we've got enough replenishments and reinforcements coming on the way. And we've got another boat in there. So I'm going to queue in another boat there. Just so that that boat army might not be quite as damaged um, if they get attacked by Ptolemies. Although when I say damaged, they'll be destroyed. But hopefully maybe they can uh, escape all the way to Alexandria without facing the wrath of the Ptolemies. But I guess that's <laughs> that's something we'll find out later down the line, guys, isn't it? So anyway, thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure, as always. Please do like and subscribe. It really does help the channel out. And I will see you all again on the next video.